Hello, it's Rachel. Today's project is an art postcard. I'm starting here with some distress inks in cracked pistachio and tumbled glass and I'm using the wrinkle free distress technique to pick up the ink and I do this several times drying in between so that I can get some good texture and lots of those tiny droplets on my card. Next I'm taking a stamp by Prima, this is a small background stamp and I'm stamping this onto my piece using some archival ink in the colour Cornflower. Next I'm taking another stamp by Prima, this time I'm selecting the larger flower stamp from this set and I'm stamping it onto some lightweight cardstock using VersaFine ink before letting it dry and colouring it with some Distress Ink in the colour Rusty Hinge. This is a stamp set by Stampenders called Wired. I'm selecting the ring of barbed wire and I'm stamping this using VersaFine ink onto my postcard. I stamp the ring twice and this is going to create a frame for a collage image which you'll see shortly. It's a digital download of a butterfly that I've just cut out. I'm just using it for placement right now because before I attach the butterfly I'm going to add some more background elements in the form of a stencil of circles and I'm using some gesso to sponge this onto my piece. To attach my elements to the postcard I'm using some golden matte medium and after this I'm going to use a micron pen to add a small border to my postcard. For the text on my postcard I've decided to use this sticker by Cosmo Cricut. These have been in my stash for quite some time so I'm trying to make use of them. And this particular one says pieces of life. Next I'm adding some colour to my border and for this I've chosen a Prima Art Alchemy paint and the colour is fresh orange.
This is the smaller flower from the Prima stamp set that I used earlier. This time I'm stamping in cornflower blue and once I've done this I'm going to take a micron pen and outline my text just to give it a little more definition. And here is the finished postcard, I hope you like it. If you do enjoy my content and you're not currently a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification button so that you always get updated whenever I post a new video. If you want a full product list, you're going to find that in the video description as well as links to my social media.